Hey, Guildmaster Kent with you, and we're continuing our look at Castle Age. We've looked at generals. Uh, today, I'm going to look at town, okay, or the town. Now, in the new one, if you have the new one, you have territory. I, I don't really like that. You know, I like the old way. Okay, I'm stuck in my ways. But with the territory, it's it's very simple. Uh, if you have territories, uh, the first thing I suggest you do is buy them as quick as possible. Because when you get to the land of fire... Um, I think it is. Let me check here. Uh, when you get to the land, um, yeah, sorry, land of earth, land of fire, you don't need them, but uh, land of earth, you do. You need certain things, and uh, you need to buy them as quick as possible um, and buy all your land usually your lands start out at a hundred uh, it's up to you whether you want more than that I don't see any need for any more than that I mean if you have a different view please leave a message on this video and I will uh, listen to what you have to say the next thing that we have is trade market now this is extremely I can't stress this enough how important this is um, you need to keep up with this on the trade market uh, because it helps your ruins it helps in bonuses and defenses and so many other different things that it helps in okay uh, it, it is so important that we keep up on that usually I let mine build up to about 10,000 or 12,000 and then I'll go in and do a bunch of trade um, as far as soldiers uh, I recommend that uh, you have um, a hundred of the Valor Knight, the Barbarian Captain, and the Archangel. Now you're not going to get them right away. Uh, the first ones you're going to get is the Sephira Angel and the Platinum Knight. Now I recommend that you have a hundred of them. Um, as far as the other ones, if you have a hundred or five hundred of them, you have more than enough. Now, when it comes to the blacksmith, um, that's another story. Uh, sorry, let me go back to lands for a second. Uh, in lands, what you need to do is keep up with um, your lands because it's important that we do that and keep our lands up to date uh, it, it's it's a must that we keep doing that because the more we have uh, the more we get in money coming in and that money is oh so important uh, when it comes to um, battles uh, it's so important that we keep that up uh, I can't I can't even begin to stress that enough uh, that we need to keep those lands up and as I said I mean if you have the new one where it's territories see I'm looking at my my land here and I have uh, 780 790 lands on each one so I mean it's your own preference I mean because in in the new one you don't have as much to buy it's not as important as the old one to keep your land up because in the old one you have uh, different generals that need uh, power see I have uh, nine billion coming in and I'm spending out 
almost that in income. So, or or sorry, in income, I'm spending out thirteen thousand. So you know, it, it's important that you know we keep that up to the best of our ability. I mean, even I forget. I mean, I, while I'm talking to you, I'm going in and buying lands that I forgot to buy when I went up. So I make mistakes too, you know. I'm not perfect. And if you need help, I mean, I'm there for you. Uh, I'd be more than willing to help you uh, on anything you need help with. Um, as I said, as far as soldiers, uh, you want to keep at least a hundred of the top uh, soldiers. Now, uh, blacksmithing, this, this is where it comes into play, where you need uh, weapons. Um, for the uh, abs abstaining weapons, I have 160 of them. Um, and for the other ones, I have a thousand. Um, I don't worry so much about them because uh, the the other weapons, the uh, uh, top weapons, give you more in stuff like that. As far as magic, you can't buy magic, which really sucks. Okay, it'd be nice if you could buy magic. You have to earn it. Okay. Um, for your generals and, and for your uh, different ones, um, sorry, I had to answer. I had to answer uh, my daughter. Um, for your uh, orbs and stuff like that, uh, you need to keep one for magic. Um, it doesn't really give you that much. But, uh, you know, it is helpful uh, in, in certain attacks, like uh, your uh, Archangel Rebirth gives you 17 attack and 17 defense. Uh, your, uh, correspond, your Coration uh, gives you 14 attack and 14 defense. Your Holy Allure, uh, oh, sorry, that's not an orb. Uh, your uh, um, your uh, swarm of darkness gives you 20 attack and 16 defense your metal storm gives you 16 attack and defense and uh, I think it's important uh, that that we do that uh, because uh, it's important that we have this um, certain orbs give you the ability to uh, do certain things and uh, power certain things and uh, see your uh, your wind flame and you get that from uh, Val, uh, Valhalla okay uh, and it gives you 50 attack and 50 bonus. Uh, your metal storm is 125 defense. So it's important that we have these. Um, they, they may not seem important, but they really are uh, because 125 bonus and defense is very important. Now, the festival stuff doesn't really matter so much anymore. Um, because it, it's kind of gone by the wayside. So I'm not even going to get into that. Um, that's basically what I have um, today. Uh, tomorrow I will be going over um, the uh, Oracle on how important that is. And I'll be also going over demigods again. Because it's, it's important that we do that um, on a daily basis. Um, it really is. So that's my wrap for uh, today. Um, 
I hope that I'm of help to you. If you need a video on something, please leave me a message and I will make that video. And if you leave me your name and your Facebook account, I will make sure that you get it. Or I can put it on the Castle Age Hints and Help line. Um, that's not a problem. God bless and take care.